Hi, Portfolio. Welcome to another week for Ali and Annette and all my other Portfolio students. And so um, here we are at week five. I'm currently at home recording my video with cute little Mr. Williams in the background. He's just playing some league right now. So if you hear a little clickety click, it's okay. Um, we're just going to continue on ignoring him and his beautiful weekend. So this week we have a rainbow wall. I decided to give a bone to my freshmen uh, since they've been working really, really hard. I know you guys have been working really, really hard as well. I would definitely love to put some portfolio work on here eventually, especially with your gorgeous artist spotlight pages. So proud, doing me a heckin' proud as a art teacher. This week, again, we're going to sketch five new prompts, new week, new sketches. Um, and we are also going to complete an artist spotlight for about 10 to 15 minutes. I love what you guys have been giving me so far. And then we're going to jump into a brand new project after Monday. Monday, you're going to be finishing for me your altered self-portrait and turning that in, hopefully, um, by this Friday. And then you're also going to be working on a white color pencil or white charcoal uh, study, which means drawing from a photo that's already been given to you. So here we go. Um, if you're new to portfolio, welcome. Here is the sketch page, what tells you what to do for the sketches. And here um, are some examples and same with the artist spotlight as well. So today I wanna focus more on the transparent objects. This is the project we're starting on Tuesday after your altered self portrait, which I'm so excited to see. Um, this is what we're hopping into next. These are our finished examples here at the bottom. Essentially, I'm gonna be having you draw on black paper with white color pencil to start. Um, if you do not have black paper, please, please email me. I can get you a big fat stack of it for free. If you wanna hop by the front office, if you're like, Ugh, I don't wanna come back to school, then that's okay. Go to Dollar Tree and they have black poster board. It's fine to draw on black poster board. Usually you can get two for $1. You can cut it down to a normal size, about a size of a printer paper, eight and a half by 11, and you'll be fine. So if you don't wanna come see me or the front office, I'm not offended. There are other options out there. You just need some type of black paper to draw on for this project. Um, so here we go. Breaking it down, I wanna break in this project for you. So Monday, you're finishing your altered self-portrait. Tuesday, we are going to practice our white color pencil first. Practicing is good for us. Um, and you're going to practice drawing a small apothecary bottle. That's like an antique bottle like this big in real life. And a value scale. Knowing how bright we can get with a white color pencil and how dark we can get by not shading. Um, on Wednesday, you're going to start on your final piece for your transparent items. Thursday, continue practicing. Friday, Artist Spotlight. Mon next Monday, we're going to continue practicing and Tuesday we're going to turn in that final edition for your transparent items. So this is what we're going to be practicing on on Tuesday. I'm going to attach something Google Classroom. It'll say transparent item practice, I think, something practice. Um, and it will have a picture of this cute little bottle here that's my face is sort of covering it. And then you're going to draw from it. So I want you to start with a value scale so going light to dark nine squares super normal then I want you to start with a contour line which is an outside drawing and you're gonna eyeball it I'm not gonna make you grid you're not allowed to transfer you're just gonna eyeball it like a good old like a good old artist you're gonna eyeball it and you're gonna just draw the outline of the shadows and the highlights as well then you're gonna push in the values a little bit more going slowly always shade light shade light or you won't get it right. I don't know, I just came up with that. But seriously, it's so hard to erase white color pencil, so go, go slow. Go very slow, shade lightly. Because uh, once you try to erase that white color pencil, it's gonna turn into a McDonald's icky, sticky, greasy mess. And you don't want that on your paper. So go slow, please. Um, and then you're gonna add in, I say add in your one to two values. What I mean by that is your very, very, very bright ones go at the end. I'm going to attach my best friend art teacher, like my role model, my, oh, I love her. Um, and she did a video on how she did this assignment. I'm gonna attach her video. Why? Because I honestly think she's better at it than I am. And I want you to learn from the best of the best. So on Google Classroom, I'll also attach that video and I want you to watch it. All right, 
Um, and then from there on Google Classroom, I'm going to be attaching, follow me, this packet of transparent items. So I'm zooming in on this packet. It shows me all the different items. Whoopsies. Don't want to move the photo on you. But you can see just how gorgeous these photos are going to be. You can see the reflection of my ring light in the corner, which is really, really nice. Whoop, got to move that guy out of there. Here we go. Um, and these tiny little objects that I have sorted around, they're just from cute little things I got at Savers or Goodwill. But you can see with the right photo techniques, I was using my iPhone 11 and a dirty black t-shirt in the background. And look how fun these came out to be. I'm so excited for you guys to draw them. Anyway, um, you guys have a lot to do this week. So I'm going to get off this video, but just know that I believe in you. You would not be in portfolio if I didn't think you could do this. So never lose faith in yourself, and I'll see you next week. Good luck, guys.